these are our new display racks. I'm not gonna really go too much into these, but it just shows our entire new product line. You've got the DVJ, you've got your SVM 1000 mixer, your MEP player, your 800 mixer, 700, 400, your three tabletops without the 200, the 400, the 800, and the 1000 mark break. Now you've got a new uh, thing here too, where it's interactive. Right, what you can do is you can actually come in and scroll through this menu board. So, I just got a blank screen. I can go to menu. When I go to menu, I can pick something. Like, we'll do tabletop players. Hit enter. I'll pick a player. Let's say the 400. I can get features of the 400, the specifications, images if I need to look at them. This is my favorite one. I can do tips and tricks. So nice. we'll do the introduction, let's say. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, look, it's me oh, again. Who's that guy? DJ? Yeah, it's me. Yeah, exactly. Our new CD Italian. player, these are the CDJ 400. Got a match up with this is going to end up in stores, kind of cool different stores around the world, I think. Are you going to have this at Mobile Beat? I don't know. I'm going to find out. I'll ask Dave. Okay. These are going to be storefronts, so you can actually go to a store where before you're like, gee, you're going to get that gear? You can actually go into the store, turn on the 800. And learn all about it. Right. Lock it up with this. Say I want to hear it with the 400 Mexa. Say I want to use it with a 700 Mexa. Uh, it's just yeah, I think I'll use it with an 800 Mexa. Oh, okay. You know, and then I want to use the 400, so now I go to the 400. That's really cool. You know, it just, it allows you... You're not you, even going to need a sales guy. No, I have. It just, just allows you to kind of run around. So, um, but so it's you really get cool. to go do anything you want, and at least experience the product line. The famous SVM 1000 per Chicago. Right on. You've got an 800, DJM 800 mixer here. Okay. Either side. Right on. In the middle are all your video audio effects, and you and I messed around with this a little bit before. You messed with it, I love I'm going to go to touch. I've never messed with this thing myself. You got to mess, at some point, you got to mess around oh, with these this days. thing. So we're going to do Q. This image is going to do everything that I put the effects on. Now, I've got it on touch. So I put my finger in the screen, and go like this. Okay, you move it anywhere you want to move it. By my finger. I don't know if you can pan back to see. Yeah, the I'm, I'm doing it. Okay. That is, that is cool. Now it'll do it with any effect I choose. I can just let it twist on its own. You can touch it and spin and twist it. I've got five, four to five patterns on each effect. Oh, wow. I also have speed up till 10. So I can take that effect, set it up, move it, spin it over, take it off. We've got different fade functions. This one I like, it's called the wipe. What happens is, it actually wipes the screen. Oh, So there's both nice. videos playing at the same time. Sweeps. So or I do, yeah. They call it, we, I mean, we call it the wipe. You can do a fade where you literally come in and out of the same video. You nice. can do promos. Promos using different colors. You see, I've got two videos playing. Oh, nice. Colors are going to just jump out. picking up certain colors. Right. So, like on this one, it's going to come out more of a green. It's going to jump. This one's a blue promo. So, blue will be a color that'll jump harder. Oh, right on. Like the shirt's white. But if you look, I believe in the video, the shirt's blue. See? But because I'm taking oh, blue out, right. it takes the shirt out. It's but a color it's, filter, basically. Right, and it's taking that dominant color. Like that everything really that's neat. blue gets dropped. So that's the first bit of the fade. That way it allows you to do some cool, interesting tricks. You can also put got an SD card reader so you can put JPEGs in it. Really set it up nice. This one is the infamous MEP 7000. Yes. Yeah. And this time, and Brian's going to have to talk about this, I think you're shooting a video. I'm not as familiar with it as you are on the pacemaker up here. But we have a new thing with pacemaker. We make an awesome product. Remember this? It's going to be released in the United States in April. It's a brand new product. They're here. We got video on it. Yeah. But this is to enhance the DJ. You can actually DJ on this device. It's a handheld device. You can DJ on it. Store music on it. Um, it's got some stuff down the road I don't want to talk about that I may or may not be doing, so I'm only going to say what I do know about it. Right on. Which is that you can scratch on it, you can DJ from it. It's hooked up by a USB port. But the cool thing with the MEP that they're doing is when you normally lock in something, it has to read the playlist and set them. What Pacemaker's device is now doing is it's automatically giving you all these search functions. You normally would have two layers down. You now have all of these that you can then 
engage the genres. It breaks the genres down into everything that they've labeled in there in what they call crates. Just like Serato, they also call it crates. Right on. Go to that crate, find the music within it. Let's say I pick Aerosmith. It shows me in this CD, there's this track. It's coming to me in this genre. Because I'm in genre. It does the same thing if I go to artists. I go to Aerosmith, let's walk this way. There we go. So it allows you to go through. If you go down one more, it'll give you the info on this. How long it is, what the beats per minute was on it. You know, you get beats per minute on this. This one doesn't show it, but if you wanted to embed the album right. art, it'll also drop that. And it'll be on the pacemaker anyway. Yeah. And it'll be on here eventually anyway as well once you start playing it. And it's coupled up with the DJM 3000. I think most people are familiar with this and that it's been around for quite a while. It's our only rack mountable mixer. It's a great product. Where mobiles really seem to do well with this, it's got three microphones. That is nice. So you're doing a ceremony, you're doing anything where you've got to give up one or two mics and keep one for yourself. This is the mixer that you'd want to hook up with. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Outside of that, Oh yeah, you know, this is the new talk on the street. I and, need that. And rightfully so. These are the new HDJ 2000 headphones. We've got the 1000s that a lot of people play with. The 5000, the SEDJ 5000s from a few years ago. Great thing on this, and we've, we've glued them, I'm not gonna lie, because we're afraid people take it. This button just disengages this XLR plug. So it's just a problem with your plug, you unplug it, you get a new plug, no problems. Titanium bracket. They're not gonna break. Incredible, incredible, incredible sound. You notice how big this is. If you look at most headphones, including even the HDJ 1000s, you know, you've got a, a hole, I'll say it's like 35 millimeters. I think this one is 60 something. It's huge. Really padded well. That's memory very, foam very too, isn't it? Yep. I mean, just really, really Now, are those the ones that you can twist in a pretzel knot? No. Which oh, way? Me. This way? Anyway. I'm not going to try it. If you can, I don't know about it. No, you can. For reals? I think so. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I was watching them twist them around at BPM. Oh, man. No, we haven't, we're not that daring over here. That's yeah, Europe. they were twisting them around like mad, showing that you can't break them. Really? Yeah. I mean, and it was more than just this. They were physically twisting the logo. They were great. Look, look at look at what you're doing right now. They're, yeah, you just oh, grab you and twist them. Gra grab them by the grab them by the handles and just twist the shit out of them. Yeah, see, they're not gonna break. Yeah, no, you can twist that. They were twisting I thought you them like meant a they pretzel. They literally were tying it over. They, they were. They were going yeah, crazy with that. the damn thing. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> very very durable. That's yeah. the big thing. If you're gonna spend money on headphones, the last thing well, you, you want know, to do is you breaking you your know, bag. You're doing your mix, you're dropping them, <laughs> you're hanging them on stuff. I mean, headphones break, but they always break in my bag like, in transit. Right, and it's Where the these... weak links. The weakest link is always the joining clips. Right. Well, I mean, when you're using titanium for stuff, it tends to not break. Right. You know, you can get a wedding ring mat out of stuff. Gosh, it's supposed <laughs> to last forever. That's a different can. But yeah, it's a great, great pair of buttons. Super comfortable. At least try them out. More expensive than, you know, a lot of DJs might be used to paying, but how much are your ears worth? You don't have to turn them up that loud to hear them. They sound great. So if you're not turning them up that loud, your hearing is going to get saved. If your hearing gets saved, you can DJ longer. If you DJ longer, you make more money. So you've got to invest in the things that make you money. Your ears. And you'll be able to try those on and play with them at the Mobile I'll Beach Show. I'll have them at Mobile Beach Show. Yep. Yeah, right on. Um, they're in stores now. Um, I talked with some retailers this morning. They're having a good response with people who really like them. I think like anything else, getting them on your head and trying them out is where you're going to win. Right um, that's the gear we're rolling out at this show. We've got our performance stage. We've got our bar open, of course. Oh, yeah, we got a bar. We've got a bar. That's always only, important. Yeah. Only show where we have alcohol free flowing. Not free, free. But, but flowing. But yeah, it's a good show. I mean, obviously, great to see Brian. Mobile Beat's going to be big. There's some things I've spoken with Mobile Beat staff about, and everything stays the way it's supposed to. Um, you'll be seeing me on stage at a big show. Yeah, so that'll be nice. I'm, I'm excited about that. Yeah. And other than that, we'll have all the Pioneer stuff there. I don't know who's working the show with me yet. We're working on that. Hopefully, DJ Pulse will be there. We'll see. Brian's going to be there right now. Jonathan's going to be there. Before the show starts, I'm going to leave you guys very simply. Thank you. Practice and enjoy.